Alright, so today we're going to be uh, doing some game theory for Masters League 22.4, um, which is a 20 minute AMRAP of a 300 meter row, uh, then a round of DT, 300 meter row, then two rounds of DT, 300 meter, round, uh, 300 meter row, then three rounds of DT, and the DT rounds just keep, uh, keep increasing as you go. Now, uh, just to state the obvious, just in case people think that I'm trying to mislead them or I'm doing anything devious or anything like that, uh, this I didn't do the workout. Um, this isn't me doing the workout. These are two separate clips. Uh, the first one here is me. Uh, I was just testing uh, my, I oh, testing the row to see how my hamstring would go with range of motion, uh, with intensity and stuff like that. Uh, just to uh, note on that uh, didn't go that well I wanted to do five rounds I uh, wasn't able to complete all five rounds uh, it was at intensity because I wanted to test my hamstring uh, the other clip that you'll see uh, is me doing a, a workout I did last year early last year uh, which was uh, five rounds of 800 meter bike uh, and then a round of DT so a variation of DT uh, the reason I'm putting this together like this is because I wanted uh, some demonstration of what I will be talking about so hence why um, I've uh, sort of strung these two clips together again this is not to mislead anyone it's just for education purposes only all right, now that we've got that out of the way, uh, first off, we're going to talk about how I would uh, go about doing this workout, uh, and then I'll talk about uh, what I'll do differently from my first to second attempt, uh, and then some general tips uh, towards the end. So for my first attempt, I would uh, break up uh, the deadlifts. So I'll do singles the whole way from start to finish. Um, then for the hang power cleans, I would break those up into two sets, uh, whether it's uh, five and four uh, or six and three, which I'd actually prefer six and three. Uh, and then the three or the remaining hang power cleans into the push jerks uh, will be unbroken. Uh, I'll, at the end, I'll sort of go through why uh, I'll do that. Uh, with my second attempt, the reps would stay the same. Uh, what would change would be uh, me focusing more on my rest in between those deliberate breaks uh, and depending on my pacing for the row, which I didn't talk about, which I'll talk about now. Uh, so for the first attempt, uh, I would be aiming for uh, a pace that I know I can uh, hold but just go a little bit faster so a little bit faster than the pace I know I can maintain um, for that distance and this uh, amount of time so I know I can hold uh, a two minute pace fairly comfortably so I would be looking at sort of uh, to go faster than that so a 155 a still relatively comfortable so a little bit more than that so I would go down to between uh, 152 and 155 pace that's what I would be looking at uh, you seen me doing a row uh, on that first part there. That's on one leg. Uh, my range of motion is not good uh, on the rower at the moment. Uh, so I'm basically rowing on one leg and I was holding a, like a 145 pace. Um, and that's fairly comfortable. Uh, obviously being on one leg, uh, I can maintain that no problem. So 152 to 155 shouldn't be a problem. Um, so again the difference between the first and second attempt is going to be just making sure that I'm uh, keeping my rest short so on the single deadlifts obviously there's no rest I'm literally picking it up dropping it picking it straight back up uh, the rest in between the um, last deadlift and the hang power clean is going to be short where I generally take uh, a longer rest is going to be uh, in between the second hang power cleans going into the shoulder overhead. Uh, the reason generally that's a little bit longer is because uh, the, a bigger weakness of mine is the push jerk, so the shoulder to overhead movement. That's something that I struggle with, not just in this workout, but just in general. So generally that one can blow out and that's where I'll put most of my focus going into my second attempt. Now, if I need to uh, 
take some pace off the row to help me achieve a shorter rest during my rounds of DT on those deliberate breaks. Uh, I will definitely do that because I know that I'm not going to improve by going faster on the row. I'm going to improve by uh, taking shorter rest on the rounds of DT because that's going to be the bulk of the workout. The rounds of DT is where you're going to improve on your time or get a good time, not on the row. So that's why pacing it just outside your sort of comfort zone but at a pace you can maintain is important for that exact reason. You're not going to win this workout by going as hard as you can on the rower. It's just going to burn you out for the rounds of DT which is the bulk of the workout. So we'll talk about a little bit uh, why I would break it up this way uh, and the reasonings behind that. So the reason for breaking up the deadlifts, which most of you might thinking, oh, deadlifts are easy. It's my best part of it. Uh, what it does do is it helps uh, keep your forearms in check so you're not burning out through the forearms. Uh, it also helps keep your heart rate uh, lower in general than if you're trying to bust out these 12 deadlifts unbroken. Um, that's the biggest thing. Um, the reasoning for breaking up the hang power cleans for me personally, uh, again, the shoulder to overhead or the push jerks are a big weakness of mine, um, followed by uh, time under tension. So that's why this workout for me isn't all that great. I have uh, improved on this significantly uh, through these. Uh, um, strategies of breaking it up and things like that keeping an eye on my rest so now in regards to uh, the reason for breaking it up the hang power cleans into five and four or six and three again um, goes back to my shoulder to overhead or push jerks uh, I need um, the smallest amount of reps to try and do those unbroken so I can get through them without adding reps uh, which is something I'll talk about um, in the just general tips and things like that uh, after this part. Um, again, the pacing on the row, uh, again, is going to be very important to so knowing yourself. So whether uh, instead of doing it uh, on a particular day, uh, if you don't have much experience on the rower, uh, spend that time that you're going to do it on that particular day to test your rowing. Um, so do like 10, 300 meters with one minute rest or two minutes rest just find out what pace you can maintain um, for those for that pacing so you can utilize that uh, going into this workout because I can guarantee there's going to be some people that are going to go too hot on the rower uh, and then burn out for DT so that's going to be very important it doesn't matter if you got a, a five minute DT um, the pacing on the row is still going to be important um, at some point you're going to need to break that up because um, you're going to get into like the 6th, 7th, 8th, especially the, the top athletes. You know, you're going to be doing a lot of rounds of DT. You might end up doing double DT in that 20 minutes depending on how good you are. But I couldn't see too many people uh, doing it unbroken for the whole 20 minutes. So uh, you're going to need to break it up eventually. Having a plan for that is going to be important. All right, so moving on to just general tips, things that can uh, help you, whether it's you uh, on your second attempt or just get a better time uh, for your first attempt. Um, the first one is that pacing on the on the row. I know I've mentioned it a few times, but it is important. You don't want to burn yourself out by trying to go too fast on the rower. The workout's not going to be one on the rower. It's going to be uh, one, or you're going to do your best time by having the best strategy for you on DT so whether it's whatever that is for you but that's why pacing on the rower is probably my number one tip number uh, two or my second tip or something that's going to help you uh, is uh, break it up from the start so for me I recommend uh, singles on the deadlifts the hang power cleans depending on your strength and weaknesses uh, breaking that up also so whether it's just one break um, also just on a, a note on that 
where you break it up is super important. So what I mean by that, don't do 12 deadlifts then break. Why is that? Because you need to do a 13th deadlift to stand that bar up into your hang power clean. So you break it at 11 deadlifts, have a short rest, uh, do your final 12th deadlift and then go into your hang power cleans. It is the same for the hang power cleans. Don't do nine hang power cleans and then drop the bar. Again, you're gonna have to do another clean to get it to that shoulder or into that push jerk position. So you'd break the hang power cleans up if you're only breaking it once uh, on the eighth rep. Now obviously I don't recommend breaking up the uh, push jerks because it's obviously the furthest distance away from the ground requiring the most effort up onto the shoulders you don't want to be adding reps to a workout that's already gonna you know have a lot of reps in it but also uh, cause you extra fatigue as well so where you break it up uh, is probably going to be my second and most important tip uh, and then obviously how you break it up is going to be different depending on who you're talking to and where your strengths and weaknesses lie Uh, so that's it. Hopefully uh, you got something out of this, something new that you didn't know or you can try to improve your time from your first attempt or if you're doing it only once, hopefully this can get you uh, your best time that you're capable of. Uh, again, just to go over, um, so hopefully people don't think I'm trying to mislead them by putting these two clips together. This is not me doing the workout. Um, hopefully that's obvious enough, but I'm not trying to mislead anyone to think that I've done it, that i got a really good time or anything like that. This is purely just for education uh, purposes. I just wanted to have something in the background uh, demonstrating what I am talking about and obviously me doing it. Um, so you can know that I've done it before uh, is obviously uh, what I was going for here. Uh, so again, hopefully you enjoyed it uh, and I will see you on the next one. Till next one.